welcome. Your presence here is no coincidence. It marks the beginning of a meaningful connection designed to deliver a powerful message from Apostle Joshua Selman right to your doorstep. This message carries the potential to not only bless you, but also ignite inspiration for greatness within you. Open your heart wide and allow your mind to embrace the profound in before we dive deeper. I warmly invite you to actively participate in this significant moment. Show your support by liking the video, sharing it with those around you who may find it valuable, and subscribing. Demons did not just enter any man. They picked a man whose prophetic destiny had been seen and kept that man. It was because of that one man, Jesus went to the other side. One man. Why would Jesus go to the other side just to meet one man and then return back? That one man was equal the destiny of 10 people. So some of the attacks you are seeing in your life that does not make sense. Let me remind you, when Satan attacks you, he looks beyond you. He's seen an army standing before, behind you. You have an assignment to reach them. The barrenness of Elizabeth was not about Elizabeth. It was about the prophet who will ordain the Savior. When Moses was born, many innocent children died. Why did they die? Because there was a prophetic word from the Garden of Eden that the seed of the woman would bruise the head of the serpent. And right from Cain killing Abel, right until Jesus came, it's been Satan's campaign to search the seed. The day he found out a covenant people who the seed would come through called Israel, there was war, Israel never found peace again because he now knew that, well, I don't know the seed, but I know the region where that seed will come from. That was why when John showed up, the spirit of the Antichrist began to speak through the scribes and the Pharisees. Are you the one who should come? John kept confusing them. I am the voice of one Christ. What is, are you the one? <laughs> Because the protocol for the move of God is that Elijah must always forerun Jesus. Everywhere you see the manifestation of Jesus, you will have to see the spirit of Elijah first. So Elijah came in the spirit and the power, John, in the spirit and the power of Elijah. Then Jesus came. Everywhere you are about to see a revival and the spirit of Elijah is a spirit of prayer and is a spirit of restoration. And is a spirit of judgment. Are we learning? So there are controlling powers over Boston. My dear people, as beautiful as your wonderful city is, I want to tell you from the authority of scripture that there are real demons roaming around the length and the breadth of your streets. At the mercy of the understanding and the dominion of the saints. So when... A husband suddenly turns to hate his wife. He did not just hate her. That hatred caught see the diligence of these spirits at work. When an intelligent student begins to suffer academically without explanation. When your helper suddenly hates you and do not want to see you. Listen, nothing just happens. Say that after me. Nothing just happens. One more time. People do not just hate you. No. Doors do not just close. No. They are spirits. What is your assignment now? To understand prophetic intercession. Write a few things about it and then we'll begin to pray. Hmm. I wish I had the time I would have shown you men in the Bible who interceded for others. In Genesis 18, Abraham interceded for Lot. Remember? God was about to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah and Abraham said, hold on, I have an interest there. I have an interest. He advocated through intercession. He saved Lot. Jesus himself interceded for Peter. Peter, Satan has desired to sift you like wheat. He said, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not and that when you are converted, strengthen your brethren. 
the early church in Acts chapter 12 when Herod bound Peter remember the Bible says they beheaded James and he saw that it pleased the people and he caught Peter waiting that after the Passover he would bring him before them and the Bible says but prayer was made unto the church unto God by the church for him and an angel came the same angel that rescued Peter would have rescued James if the church prayed because the angels were not sent to particular individuals they were sent to all believers something must have happened to the carelessness of the church it was after the, the death of James they stood up and they said we will not allow that to happen to Peter don't allow things just happen if you leave Satan he will steal he will kill he will destroy did you hear that he's called a thief a thief is not a friend now principles of prophetic intercession let me just give you very quickly the intercessory ministry is founded on two principles please write this down the intercessory ministry is founded upon two principles number one the law of love for God and for people the intercessory ministry is founded upon two principles number one the law of love for God and for people if you do not love the Lord and you do not love people you cannot be a prophetic intercessor you have to love God and love people the second principle is called the principle of shared dominion Psalm 115 verse 16 why do we intercede because of this principle called the principle of shared dominion 115 16 psalms the heaven of heavens belong to the lord it says but the earth hath he given to the children of men you know what that means nothing happens on earth without the cooperation and the participation of men god is almighty but he's limited his operation on the earth until he finds a man who cooperates with him so god seeks men he's vulnerable and he says it i sought for a man in isaiah chapter 6 who shall go for us god is still seeking for men in boston still seeking for men in america are we together there's a lot that god wants to do there are destinies he wants to rewrite but he's looking for men someone said send me send one more time shout it say send me The law of love. The law of love. You have to discern and understand the controlling powers that are within your region. How do you know the controlling powers? Look at the prevalent behaviors of the people within your territory. It gives you an idea of the spirits that control them. When you see a widespread manifestation of irresponsibility, as we have it in Africa, sometimes you find out that there's a spirit that causes untimely death. People never cross beyond a certain age. Parents always have to bury their children. It should not be. You see that? And then you find certain families where the women become the men and the men become the women in terms of capacity to provide. When you see the behaviors of people, you can deduce the operation of the spirits that are there. And then your next assignment is to engage. Engage with scripture. Engage in prayer. Engage with scripture. Get the map of Boston to your house. Get the map of Boston to your house. Place it on the ground. Intercede. Let revival come. Raise prophets, O oh God. Raise apostles. Get the picture of Harvard your lovely university, place it on the ground. Father, raise witnesses from Harvard as lecturers, as students. Oh, Cambridge, 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 huh? Boston, Cambridge, Cambridge. Okay, okay. So Cambridge. There's Boston here. Okay, America.
Are we together? But you get the map, whether it's Boston or Cambridge, Harvard, or your family, get that map there and pray. Listen, let me tell you this. I wish I had time to tell you my story. If you know where I came from, you will know that intercession, prophetic intercession is powerful. Did you know that literally one spirit can stop the various areas of your life from manifesting? Your finances, your health, your relationships. You know how an octopus is? Yeah. All of the tentacles touching the various aspects of your life but one and the same spirit. So when you dislodge that spirit, you will find out that doors just open because it's been the one spirit. Now you believe what I'm telling you. All of a sudden, doors of relationships opened. Doors of finances opened. Yes, this is how Satan operates. Prophetic intercession is powerful. Begin to form prayer chains. Begin to form prayer networks of serious people with understanding you invest in prayer you'll begin to see a physical reaction across your territory pray 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 connect with your loved ones even online and tell them listen i found a cure to this demonic thing plaguing our family prophetic intercession i found it connect to them whether they're in London, America, Asia, Nigeria, Africa, connect and pray. Pray. Prayer is connected to the healing of the land. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turning from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, the Bible says, and I will forgive their sin and also heal their land. Hallelujah. You need to pray. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. Let me tell you this. When we moved from the northern part of Nigeria, for those of you who know the story, to Abuja, the city capital, I was praying and seeking the face of the Lord to know what to do, and the Lord gave me an instruction to get the map of Nigeria, the map of Africa, the map of Abuja, and the map of the world. And I use this for interceding and praying and speaking over the territory, commanding the nations and commanding the territory to open up. You see, there are spiritual gates that open to every city and close. I wish I had the time would have examined the story of Jericho. The Bible says, now Jericho was shut Hear what the Bible says. Nothing came in and nothing came out. That's not just a physical thing. There are spiritual realities like that. So you can be in Boston or Cambridge, but in the spirit, you are not yet here. And the territory will never deliver its riches to you. Have you seen a situation where people who are the, um, what they call them now? They are, not, they are not of that region, but they are the ones who, who prosper. And then the people who were born and bred there, they never prosper. It's true. Have you heard of any statement like, lift up your heads? What gates and where are they? Those gates were not metallic objects. They were spirits because they replied, who is this king of glory? Every region has gates. Every region has doors. If the two lift gates that open to a city do not open before you, your influence will never manifest. There are gifted people, some of you seated here, and you do not know why it looks like there are forces covering your influence. Do you believe what I'm telling you? In Acts chapter 12, when the angel came to take Peter out, the Bible says the first gate opened. The second gate opened, watch this. Then he got to the iron gate that opens to the city. And I tell them, this one is no longer mathematics and intelligence and commerce and business. Take on your priestly regalia. There is a spirit that wants to fight your destiny. Can we invest five minutes praying? 
you're going to find a partner and for the next five minutes while they just charge the atmosphere and worship i'd like you to pray and for those who are falling online whether it's midnight as it is in africa or maybe evening or morning already in some part it doesn't matter it's time to pray pray in the spirit begin to make decrees over your life it's time to shift this spiritual climate come on someone connect to someone and begin to pray you can i have seen evil that is under the sun One time I was praying. I was in a prayer and fasting program. The first time I would encounter a spirit. No, I was not fasting then. I was just praying. And behind the place where there used to be a generator, I turned there and I saw a spirit. And he said, get back. That's what he told me. And the next thing I just started praying in tongues. What is this? Roaming around the earth. The second time I was praying and I remember very clearly my 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 roof just disappeared my ceiling and here I'm seeing this spirit that looks like a dinosaur giant eyes looking like human eyes as big as a human head one of the eyeballs and it had a tail the tail had its own life you could detach it fuming with anger and he looked at me and said so you can you want to bring God's people you think you can bring God's people into abundance and that was the end of it after that encounter it was that the gates oh listen may may cause be upon me if I'm lying to you and I'm here to manipulate and deceive you I love you too much to waste your time let me tell you the truth before you think I'm wasting your time, I want you to look at your life with sincerity and truth. And you will know that you need this. It's time to really take dominion. If you're a man of God here or the call of God is upon your life, please hear me. Because we are the ones who are most under attack in this season by reason of these altars and the patterns they create just answering the call and being anointed is not enough you don't know this your life and your relevance will be cut short in a way you will not be able to explain but one of the things i'm hoping today and next week will deal with i'm saying it again is the origin of mysterious infirmities blood conditions whatever it is genotype conditions Please make sure you invite everybody you love. It's time to walk in victory. Otherwise, we'll keep quoting scripture and jumping up and down and our lives will not capture this. Can I tell you this? Hear me. I made a vow and a covenant with God. I said, Lord, whatever it is that comes from my bloodline and my family, I obtain grace even if it's for me to be the sacrifice that I will fight it with my life taking advantage of the victory that is in Christ so that everyone that comes from me will enjoy that liberty someone may need to make that commitment and say Lord my sincere parents my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge but will you use me as that priest let me be that mediator between the old and the new someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart Someone pray. Please pray, please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's no view. Let every other name fade away. Let every 
just manifested in their lives like that like from father to children there was no history of that demonic thing but everybody like that I know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is HIV and the person said, I can't, there is no way this would have come. Medically certified. When everything scatters, they go back and check. And you find out they are perfectly sound. I'd like you to pray and say in the name of Jesus Christ. Say it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority. I am a spirit with a mortal body. I am a spirit that submits to the authority of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I have dominion in the name of Jesus over the realm of the air, the realm of the sea. Someone is praying. Shabagata barate kete balaka to shoprondos. Ekrete ke barato sodo brende kete balaka dia. Shakete praska de balaka ta. Embrakata baraka to shade kete. Pray. Something is happening. Pray. Something is happening. Ke bate ka baraka to shade Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place on earth as God's steward. And I declare, Holy Spirit, I am in partnership with you. Every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life I declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray I take my place I take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by God to find expression in my life in this season I declare I take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Shabagada baga de baka ta brande gade bala zosia. E braka toshko do brande gade bale kata. Shabrande gade baruskiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, every system of authorization working against my life, my family, my destiny, by the blood of the eternal covenant, be silenced now. Open your mouth and pray. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Systems of authorization fighting your influence, fighting your destiny.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me. This prayer you are about to pray, many miracles are going to come out of it. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life, I command, depart now. Open your mouth and pray. Depart fibroids. Depart high blood pressure. Depart cancer. Depart. Someone pray. Tumors. Growths. Depart. Pelakatosh Kadila Pariata. Blood conditions. Depart. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity. My body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accident by sickness by the activity of wicked people i cause it right now go ahead and pray no premature separation coming in the form of accidents hallelujah in the name of jesus please don't be distracted jeremiah 22 29 please give it to us quickly jeremiah 22 verse 29 it says "O oh, earth 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 hear ye O oh, earth 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 it says hear ye the word of the lord the earth is a universal point of contact the bible says as for the earth out of it comes bread it says the profit of the earth is for all and even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth i'd like you to pray say in the name of jesus my portion given to me by god i decree and declare through the ministry of man let it gravitate towards my destiny open your mouth and pray god is a god of portions god is a god of portions pray god is a god of portions Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance, that has come as untimely death 
negative things, closed doors. I reject it. Someone pray. Shapakatosh and Brekatakatosh. I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. In the name of Jesus, I reject it. Shabagada Barakosh, Abrakatos Kateba Lakatash. Hallelujah. Listen. The implication of having dominion over the realm of the air, the realm of water, the realm of earth is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Judges, I, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture judges chapter 5 i hope i get it right let's look at 19 and 20. this was deborah and sisera judges 5. the kings came and fought i hope i got then fought the kings of canaan in tanakh by the waters of megiddo and they took no gain of money verse 20. yes it says they fought from heaven the stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you, the elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God and can stand in partnership. Hold on. That means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water, provided is one of these elements. Did the Bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day? not the moon by night say in the name of jesus i speak to the elements of creation hear the word of the lord walk in partnership with the holy spirit and the word of god for my favor for my destiny not against me open your mouth and begin to pray the elements of the supernatural I decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day the moon shall not smite me by night the scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me I have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth Pray. hallelujah hallelujah don't be tired Genesis 1 from verse 20 I want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see 
Are you ready? And God said, let the waters do what? Bring forth abundantly. So water is connected to abundance. And water in scripture means men too. Are we together? It is not just about physical water. Water is also prophetic and symbolic of men. It says, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life. The fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. 21. Let's read together. One to read. And God created the great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Hold on. We are going to declare the prayer of abundance. Waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water. Water here means men. Are we together? Water. Prophetic. That means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men. And the Bible says God can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare the abundance assigned for my life for my assignment through the ministry of men i declare let it be released unto me go ahead and pray let the waters bring forth abundantly someone pray someone pray Let the water spring forth abundantly. Shabragade balagade proskoto balando shaliatas. Egrefene kete parato shadabragada lakato sabreas. Hallelujah. Psalm 79 verse 11. Psalm 79 verse 11. Let the sighing of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. Death is an appointment I can reject an appointment that you give me we can fix an appointment for 12 and I can choose to reject it is that true please look up for there to be an appointment it means there must be some sort of consent even if not mutual there has to be an awareness. Okay, you go to apply for a visa, you expect an appointment. There is an understanding between you and the, the, the consular officers that there is an appointment. So when the Bible talks about an appointment, it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed, even if you are not there. Like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children, and they just know that your appointment is on the 25th. So when the Bible says there are people appointed to die, it may be that they through ignorance have signed in for that appointment or someone before them already made the appointment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every appointment, whether by covenant, whether by ignorance, 
all by disobedience with the spirit of death i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant help them please let it be cancelled now open your mouth and pray by the greatness of your power preserve those who have been appointed to die someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah in the name of jesus we have one last prayer please look up and this prophetic prayer is dedicated to nigeria listen carefully you see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest go and read the book of esther you will find out that haman and the plotters of evil they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack I can tell you this for sure no terrorist attacks at will no they consult with the constellations and they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go that's why it looks like it is effortless regardless army regardless whatever I say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best but there has to be a spiritual advantage can I tell you the truth if you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength you will be a victim of several casualties it is not like satan and terrorists are so powerful their advantage is not in their physical armory i tell you this their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit and it is good for us to pray but for God's sake, prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying. Hallelujah. So they set a date. And even though her man was dead, the decree of the date for destruction still continued. It took another decree to change it. The Bible says where the word of a king is, it says there is power. He said declare ye that thou mightest be justified if you refuse to plant in a farm something will still grow the name is weed in elementary science or agriculture they define wheat as weed as unwanted are we together unwanted plants while men slept hear me we are going to make decrees every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation in this city and around please don't say it does not concern you don't make the mistake of esther when her man was plotting evil esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and mordecai sent a warning he said do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us you will be spared for you do not know whether it is for such a time as this everyone who has been kidnapped even those killed they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you don't forget that you have not you have not stopped moving you too move out in the morning and in the night so don't say it does not matter shout this from the depth of your heart say in the name of Jesus I take my place as one who has authority and I decree and declare the spirit of bloodshed the spirit of terrorism the spirit of oppression around our land the spiritual power that supports you we break it right now go ahead and pray the covenants that support you be broken the altars that support you be broken the enchantments that support you be broken the priesthood that supports you be broken Shh. 
We prophesy to the north, we prophesy to the south, we prophesy to the east, we prophesy to the west. In the name of Jesus, we declare the ministry of angels. May they excel in strength by the word of the Lord. We declare this by the decree of the watchers. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is no rest and no peace for evil. hallelujah hallelujah let me just add this one last one you are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you listen listen you have to reject bad news between now and december you, you, your your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that would depress you and waste your time it is within your power yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees are we together you are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare the bible says the name of the lord is not only a weapon of victory it is a strong tower the righteous can enter and they are saved begin to mention the name of your loved ones your spouse your children your parents lord we declare covering prophetic covering they are exempted from the arrows that fly by day exempted from the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you with your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things saith he that is holy he that is true and hath the key of david he that openeth and no man did you see that so who are those that shot who are those that shot and who are those that open he had the key of david he opened it that means if you don't have the key of david you can open a door that a man can shut you can shut a door that the man can open but it says he that had the key of david and by the mystery of the key of david that a door can be opened that no man can shut and shut and no man can open verse 8 it says i know thy works behold i who has the key of david i have opened before thee it says i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because i acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name i stand in partnership with the holy spirit and according to revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 i decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open Doors of favor be open and remain open. Doors of lifting be open and remain open. Doors of restoration be open and remain open. Doors of opportunity be open and remain open. Doors of speed be
be open and remain open. Hear me. I release this prophetic word. Let it follow you like your shadow. That any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door, may this prophetic word judge them. I say it again. Any human being that wants to shut the door that the hold of the key of David has opened, Makesh Kalibaratasiata, may this prophetic word judge them. Some of you, by reason of these open doors, things that have been hanging, that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand, in the name of Jesus, let it enter your hand finally. For in Jesus' name we pray. I am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings, lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription transcends a mere click. It symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey. And may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel. And explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts. And may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.